Hey guys, Melissa here. So, um, as the title suggests, this is going to be, in my opinion, a very shocking um, review for these Prima Confections watercolors. I did do a review already and I had it posted to my channel. And the more I looked at the swatches that I had actually done on the video, uh, the more I thought, hmm, those don't really look like they compare to each other. And then I started to actually <clears throat> do some experiments with the Prima watercolor. And the more I messed around with it, and the more I tried to do with it, the more surprised I was by the results. So uh, I felt like I needed to erase that video and completely start over. So, I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Decant Pies from the Watercolor Confections. And the, the, the back of the box actually says they're artist grade, high quality, and high pigmented watercolors. And I agreed with the, uh, you know, our high pigmented, high quality, you know, I really wasn't sure about. And the artist grade, I... You know, I'm still not sure about because they don't print any information on the pigmentation or the light fastness of these watercolors. But when I compare them to my actual artist grade watercolors, uh, I was surprised by how well they held up. You know, it's, a, it's been my experience, at least this far with watercolors, is you get what you pay for. So I wasn't really expecting much because the reason I had actually purchased this set of watercolors was for the tin that it came in, which in and of itself was the value of uh, the cost of the watercolor set. So either way, I felt like I had a good deal either way, but the more I, I play with these watercolors, uh, the more surprised I am by the actual quality of them. So. Let's go over the tin, which is what I wanted these for anyways. It's a typical watercolor tin, but not typical for a 20 something dollar watercolor set. So this tin, if you were to buy it from the, in the Schmincke uh, brand, on Blick, you would pay $42.59 for this. The difference between the watercolor pan uh, for Schmincke is this is broke up into three compartments up here. So you just have three smaller compartments for watercolor. Um, like this inside thing comes out just like the other one. There's a a ring on the back to put your finger through and another difference is the size of the middle compartment in this one it's actually bigger so if you wanted to add another row of watercolors you could without having to turn them sideways which is what you would have to do in most other watercolor tins another thing is when it opens this little flip right here actually stands straight instead of folding all the way down and there's a little rim around it to catch any water from uh, falling. I'll, I'll just do a real quick. <laughs> now this is a Schmincke brand tin and it's just bigger but you see how I have to turn my watercolor pans sideways to fit here in the center row and then when you open this it actually just flops and goes all the way down so it doesn't stand up like the one from Prima so there's that and if you wanted to the, the cheapest tin that I could find was on Amazon and it was just a, a non-brand as far as I know and it was twenty dollars and sixty two cents with four fifty four in shipping so the total was actually twenty five sixteen and I paid twenty four dollars with no shipping 
for this Prima set. So I actually paid less and got paint. So, um, and worst case scenario, if you absolutely cannot stand these watercolors, you can empty these pans out. And these little pans are like 60 cents, I think, 60 or 70 cents. So you have more than the cost of what you paid in just the tin and the pans alone. So truly, you can't go wrong with this set. That's why I bought it. So my original swatch chart, sorry, looks like this. These up here are the Prima colors and these down here are the Koi, which are student grade and what I figured they would compare to. But as I said, once they dried, to me they actually looked nothing alike. And the better Prima started looking, the more I thought, well, maybe I was wrong. And so, like I said, I started experimenting with them and just was completely surprised by the quality. And uh, again, I'm not going to speak on whether they're professional grade or not because there's, there's no information to back that up. But as far as the way that they act on the paper with water, yeah, they're, they're really good quality. So I'm going to, this tin actually comes with a shimmer, a silver, a gold, and a copper. Um, there aren't any names for these colors. All, they're all just numbered. And this set goes from 25 through, sorry, 36. So there's two other sets and each of those two sets have 12 colors also. So I'm going to swatch out this first non shimmery color, which to me looks like a Naples yellow. Oh, and then I just did a, a line to check out the opaque or translucent trans lucent <laughs> nature of the paint so you can have an idea of what they look like now here's what I know to be Naples yellow from Schmincke I'm just doing really quick swatches with this um, I'm gonna compare these to my Schmincke I have some Daniel Smith um, I'm just going to do Schmink and Daniel Smith. And then this color here is, is like a really dark purple, like brownish purple. I'm really not sure what color to um, compare this to. So I'm just going to go with like a burnt sienna. But I can't wait to show you the wet and to wet how these work. They're really cool. Oh, sorry. I'm going to compare these here to the Gansai Tambi uh, shimmer colors. That's why I'm holding off on those. So I'm going to skip this color because truly I have nothing like it. It's like a peachy skin tone. And that's a great color to have, I think, in watercolor just so that you have a nice base for a, ooh, for a watercolor. Okay, I'm sorry. So, this color right here, kind of like a terracotta, a reddish brown. And this is the Schmincke. Similar color. I mean, it's hard to, to have the exact match because these don't have names. <laughs> um, this one, I'm almost positive, is, the, is a yellow ochre or a variation of a yellow ochre. I 
think I have another brush right here. Okay. That truly yellow ochre right there, for sure. This looks to me to be a um, an olive green. I mean, as you can see, these colors for are just are working just fine. You know, I'm not at all upset about the way they react with the water or you know at all they're really cool um this here is a indigo really good color i like this color The last color is um, blue. Yeah, I really do wish that Primo would have at least some information regarding these paints. Especially if they're going to call them artist grade. Um, there we go. Sorry. So I'm going to bring these in closer. And now I'm going to do some wet into wet for you and let you see how these actually were surprising to me. I mean, the swatches, yeah, when they dried, I was like, hold on, those are a lot better than what I was comparing them to. So <laughs> I didn't feel like it was a fair comparison review. So here I'm just laying down some water. Now I'm going to grab some blue. I mean, look at that. Bring it in closer. Look at how that just explodes. That's so cool. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to grab some of the indigo. Throw that in there with it. My paper's kind of t uh, tilted. I mean, look at that. That's just what made me go, whoa. And all of these colors are like that. I mean, look at this color watch. Look at how I can get it to just follow the water it's like I was really surprised <clears throat> especially considering how expensive water uh, artist grade watercolors are and then the price of these was just shocking do another wet wash here. Let's see. I 
These are really cool. So, yeah, you absolutely get your money's worth. So I'm going to change papers here. And let's do the shimmer colors. Let's make sure. Okay. So we'll do the silver. See what happens when we put it on wet paper. Mm, that one doesn't seem to explode the way the other ones do, but let's compare that to. Oh, you know what? This doesn't have silver. So let's do, it does have the, the clear, but it's hard to compare the clear. So let's do copper. So there's the hat. Now let's see how this copper reacts. Now mind you, this gam side can be set. Well, there's also more colors in here, but this set was, I believe, 60 or $70. I don't know. I can't really. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, because these have different shimmer colors. So here's the gold and the prima. This is a bright gold, too. So, really cool colors, you guys. Um, do your own test. See if you can find out any more about how these colors are made and what pigments they use to make them so also I did do a light fast test I put the, these have been sitting in straight sunlight for about two hours and this this row right here and this row right here are the prima and these right here are uh, Schminka and this one I actually mixed to make a color similar to the peach tone. So let's see how they held up. Um, yeah, it looks to me I did check some of them, you know, to see if anyone any of them were changing colors, but I don't for the most part. Well, there's a little bit of a ch change right here, but they were in straight sunlight for about two hours and these are the schminka and we know that those are light fast and professional grade um, there's a slight discoloration where the the tape was you can kind of see it did change a little um, 
So I'm going to actually probably cover the um, colors back up and put them back outside for a little longer. See if I can get any real change out of the Prima or if they hold up as just like the Schmincke do. So um, overall though, I mean, pretty good for two hours in straight sunlight. Um, yeah, so there's my review. I hope that helped you guys if you're on the fence. Um, I would say get them. They actually are a great quality. Um, the light fast, as far as I can tell, you know, they're good. So I hope that helped and I'll be back with more. Bye guys.